students today we'll be studying with introduction to analysis element let us see what is analysis analysis is the requirement gathering phase in the software development life cycle it comes as the first phase of the cycle followed by design phase where all the requirement gathered are converted into blueprint of the system to be built after this the blueprint is converted into a programming language that means coding takes place once the product is ready it is tested the testing takes place after every segment of coding and then the software is being deployed to the customer so analysis is the system information phase or the information gathering phase the analysis model must achieve three primary objectives to describe what the customer wants to establish a basis for the creation of a software design it needs to define a set of requirements that can be validated once the software is built introducing to the analysis element this diagram clearly depicts what analysis elements are at the core we have the data dictionary around it is the entity relationship diagram then the data flow diagram state transition diagram the entity relationship diagram is the data object description data flow diagram is the process specification and state transition diagram is the control specification let us move to data dictionary at the core of the model lies the data dictionary a repository that contains description of all the data objects consumed or produced by the software next is the er diagram which is also called as entity relationship diagram it shows the relationship between various data objects for example a book is present in the book show the book store and the book becomes the entities the relationship is shown by a finite line between them what is an entity a data object can be an external entity that is anything that produces or consumes information a thing that is a report or display an occurrence for example the telephone call an event example in an alarm a place example warehouse or a structure any of these things could be an entity so any place object thing occurrence event is an entity a person or a car can be viewed as data object in the sense that they can be distributed or their behavior can be described relationship the connection between the two elements is called the relationship the relationship can be specified by using the example a bookstore orders books a bookstore displays books so that is the relationship the relationship can be one to one many to one one to many and so on and so forth for example one bookstore can have many books so that is a one to many relationship many books can be present in one bookstore that is a many to many many to one example one car is owned by one person that is a one to one relationship next one is the tfd flow diagram which is an analysis element it serves two purposes to provide an indication of how data are transformed as they move through the system and to depict the functions that transform the data flow so basically in data flow diagram we have processes we have data flowing from different processes so in level 0 it broadly describes what is the process what is the system and what are the elements through which the information is flowing so my element is digital video processor the data is flowing from the user for processing the request and from the video resource for the video signals the output is given to the monitor this is a flow of information taking place in the digital video processor this is example of tft that is all about introduction to analysis element thank you